Hi guys, I hope everybody's doing amazing. Um, I hope you guys have been having a, an amazing couple of days. Uh, yeah, it's been crazy because we know, of course, Harry showed up in court for um, the first two days of this um, um, of this hearing. Well, I didn't even know if it's called a hearing, but either way, it's the civil case against the Daily Fail by um, the Daily Fail publisher and Associated Newspapers by Prince Harry and um, Elton John and uh, Hugh Grant and Elizabeth Hurley and it's a bunch of um, celebs, celebrities, guys, a lot of them. Um, but anyways, so Harry showed up for two days, guys. He was there for two days. Um, I don't think he was there today. Um, and then we got tomorrow, I think is the last day of everything. So we will see if he will show up tomorrow. Um, so, um, Harry has actually accused, um, the royal family, which is not surprising, of holding back or, or not telling the truth or basically, um, just not telling him, um, the full extent of the privacy, um, invasion that the Daily Fail and the Associated Newspapers, how far they went in order to invade Harry's privacy, basically. Uh, surprise, surprise, the royal family didn't tell him everything because, you know, I'm beginning to think the royal family, uh, from the time he was a teenager even, after his mom had, had already died. I believe now, I'm beginning to believe that the royal family um, were kind of just from then even then put in Harry and we know we know that Camilla has done this so I believe that they were kind of just um, basically selling him to the wolves whenever they want to cover you know cover up something else that's going on in the family or you know they don't want people digging in one way so they sell stories on Harry I believe that that family has been doing that from then and I thought honestly I thought that they started doing it when um, he started dating Megan and they didn't like Megan I thought it was from then but I believe it was from the time he was 12 years old and he lost his mom because he talked about it in his book and he's talked about it many times um, about the fact that his family seem to be working along with the press that's what harry said in his own words and that's not a big surprise to any of us honestly but i didn't think it went all the way back to when he was that young like a teenager and it seems from all this evidence and everything that he's provided and he's even said hey his family hid the extent of you know the the uh, just the extent of the allegations basically but um, just something here, a little something that um, Harry, um, this is a statement from Harry. And it says here, following the death of my mother in 1997, when I was 12 years old, and her treatment at the hands of the press, I have always had an uneasy relationship with the press, he said. Um, and it says here, he goes on, however, as a member of the institution, the policy was to never complain and never explain. There was no alternative. Um, I was conditioned to accept it. For the most part, I accepted the interest in my performing my public functions. However, when Harry started dating Meghan, right? Um, oh, sorry. It says here. However, Prince Harry said dating Meghan Markle made him increasingly troubled by the approach of not taking action against the press in the wake of the vicious, persistent attacks on, harassment of, and intrusive, sometimes racist, articles concerning Meghan. And he, and he added that the situation got worse with Meghan's pregnancy and the birth of his first child, Prince Archie. Okay? So this is all that um, Harry is saying here in this statement and he went on to say the institution was without a doubt withholding information from me for a long time about NGN's phone hacking and and that has only become clear in recent years as I have pursued my own claim with different legal advice and representation guys thank God thank God that Harry left these people because he would never have known this 
if he was using their lawyers, guys. Guys, do you remember in the book when Harry talks about, um, you know, the, the bee, the fly, the wasps, those people, you know, the courtiers, basically. Harry did say in the book, oh, well, he told, he, he complained to the bee or the fly or the wasp, whichever one it was. He complained to them about something. And one of them, wh- whichever it was, the bee, the fly, the wasp, I don't know which one it was. They would say, um, yes, 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 I agree, I agree. And then, lo and behold, the bee, the fly, or the wasp, whichever one it was, they would then go on to pretend like half Harry and Meghan have never said anything to them. So the long and short of the story is, it's hard to basically trust somebody. Like It, it, it would have been hard for Harry and Meghan to trust anybody in there obviously because they're working on behalf of the family and the family is on the side of the press which is harassing harry and Meghan. and like i just said we are now finding out that this has been going on from the time harry was like a schoolboy from the time he was a, a young teenager so i believe it's the family honestly that has been selling him out the whole time and pretending like you know and, and you know what? Things got worse when Meghan came because they didn't expect Harry to be with a Meghan. No, they didn't. They did not expect this. You know, they did not expect him to, you know, to come up with somebody who is this um, beautiful and intelligent and smart. And she thinks she has a mind of her own she doesn't need to be there she doesn't want to be um she doesn't want to wear um the tiaras like i saw the other day on that angela leviathan guys i saw angela leviathan the other day talking about ooh, something about a tiara and she wants to wear the tiara and this and that about a tiara like who the hell who the hell gives a fuck about the tiara angela leviathan this is not about a tiara okay <laughs> You know, Angela Levatton, she gets un- more unhinged every time you see her. But anyways, oh my God. All I'm saying is we find out that, in my opinion, the family has been selling Harry out from the time he was a teenager because they knew and they covered up. All this that Harry said here, they covered up and they didn't let him know about half the stuff that was going on. Half of the stuff that the Daily Phil was doing or the Daily Mail or whoever it was. Um, And the phone hacking, they didn't tell him everything that happened either. But anyways, I'm going to go on here. Harry added, it is not an exaggeration to say that the bubble burst in the Um, in, In terms of what I knew in 2020 when I moved out of the United Kingdom, Prince Harry and Meghan moved to, um, to, um, California. Okay. We know all that. Okay. Let me go down a little further here. Let me see what else he said. And it says here, he said, he went on to say to this day, there are members of the Royal family and friends of mine who may have been targeted by NGN. And I have no idea whether they have or have not brought claims. He continued, there was never any centralized discussion between us and about who had brought claims as each office in the, in the institution is, is siloed. There is, there is this misconception that we are all in constant communication with one another, but that is not true. And there you go. (laughs) There you go. They, they basically are, what, what happens is they cordon off, you know, they're cordoned off into their own little sections and they, it's, it's basically the, the the team their teams that are running things in my opinion here um because the family apparently doesn't really converse unless they are out and about and they are you know showing up for the the cameras it seems like half the family is not you know that big happy family and we already knew this from from before so there you go and harry says it right there they're not always in communication like 
for instance, Harry is there, right? Well, we don't know if he's still there, but he was definitely there for two days in London High Court, right? He was there for two days. Um, and Charles is like two hours away, basically. Long and short of the story. He's only two hours away. I think he's in High Grove or something. I don't know where the hell he is, but he's somewhere close by. He, but, but now I'm seeing here in a lot of the, um, I was watching a couple of the clips and stuff, news clips and all that. And basically, basically, they're, they're basically saying, you know what? Oh, Charles is too busy to see his son. How does that song, guys, when somebody says, um, no, I'm too busy. I can't see, I can't talk to my son. I can't see my son. I already know Harry's there. I Harry always wants to see his family. He always does. He and he always says it. And and nobody can say no. Harry didn't want to see. Harry is always the one trying to reach out to see him. But now there's all these stuff, all these um, um, headlines or whatever. Oh, um, you know the king's too busy to see his son. The king's too busy. <laughs> and I'm like does that make the king look good or, or like I'm, I'm confused here I'm confused does that make the king look good I don't think it does I don't think it does so <laughs> anyways so uh, let's see okay so let me continue here quickly um it says here I am bringing okay he, sa he says it's not just about me and I am bringing this claim because I love my country and I remain deeply concerned by the unchecked power, influence, and criminality of Associated, he said. The evidence I have seen shows that Associated's journalists are criminals with journalistic powers, which would concern every single one of us. The British public deserve to know the full extent of this cover-up and I feel it is my duty to expose it. So guys, just in that whole thing there it shows that harry is basically and this is only the preliminary 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 <laughs> um judgment right this is not even like the full thing it's not even like the actual case like right now they're just saying if they're gonna actually try the case right now it's like the before before the before happens before anything happens this is the before portion and the fact that harry showed up and elton john showed up and elizabeth hurley showed up it just goes to show you it just goes to show you how serious the, this is and the reason why they did show up is because they want to bring awareness to this because you know why because the daily fail and all the, the associated press and, the, and a lot of the uh, british press they were trying to bury it honestly but harry showed up and he was like yeah no no no, you're not gonna bury it today not today maybe tomorrow another day not today honey but anyways yeah so it got okay so we got two more days to go um as far as i know harry did not show up today um we will see if he will show up tomorrow um and of course um um, let's see. Yeah, so it's the High Court um, on, of, of London, I think it's called. And as far as when it comes to the other people that are in it, um, of course, you know, it's Elton John um, and his, um, his husband, David Furnish, Elizabeth Hurley, Parliament member Doreen Lawrence and Jude Law's ex-wife, Sadie Frost. And, you know, there's also, um, it's, there's a lot of other uh, people, a couple other people as well um, that are involved in this. Um, and, you know, I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day of it. Um, he did not show up today. So I want to see now if tomorrow he's going to show up. And yeah, um, anyways, guys, I... And hopefully I will talk to you in the next one. And I just want to say thanks to all the people who come through all the time, who are always here to support. Um, thank you so much to the moderators of this channel. And thank you if you've sent any super chats or super stickers. I appreciate it so much. Um, let me thank um, the couple people who have sent super chats in the last little bit. Uh, Carol Blunt, thank you so much. And Lydia Washington, thank you so much because you always send, 
you're, you're, you're amazing. You're always supporting Ella Gali and Black Queen. Thank you so much for the past couple super stickers that you have sent. Um, let me get to the members as well. Let me thank the members of this channel. Uh, thanks so much to Gloria C. New member, 23 days. Nubian Queen, 21 days, brand new. Mrs. S, member for six whole months. You're halfway there, you're halfway there. Cookies and Queen, Cookies and Cream, sorry. <laughs> a member for 12 whole months, and she is a queen, of course. Cookies and Cream. <laughs> Um, Joan Garcia, thank you so much. You've been a member for 17 days. Thank you so much for joining and you're always supporting. And the amazing Lydia Washington has been a member for 13 whole months. Thank you so much, Lydia Washington. You are the best. Thank you guys so much. And please remember to like, subscribe and share and go over and visit my channel, my new channel, Thrive with Liv P. Remember to go over there and, and just uh, give it a like and a subscribe, guys. It is my backup channel for this channel because sometimes this channel gets demonetized for no apparent reason. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming through. Have a great one, guys. Bye.